Welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. In this episode, we explore how to authenticate users with an internet-based identity provider so that users can log into your mobile app by using their social identity. Let's start by watching a live demo of a MAF application running in the Android emulator. We'll see how users can log into the app by using their Facebook credentials. The setup shown in this demo requires you to have Oracle Access Management, Mobile and Social, part of the Oracle Identity Management family, properly configured and running. Let's launch the Work Better app in the Android emulator. The default feature employees is secured, so I must authenticate before I can access the application. A page loads with links that enable me to choose an internet-based identity provider to use for authenticating that I am who I say I am. I want to use my Facebook credentials, so I click the Facebook link and I'm redirected to the Facebook login page. I simply enter my credentials and click Login. Then the application loads. As you can see, allowing users to log in by using their social identity makes it simpler and easier for users to access your secured application. In the demo, you saw a math application that allows users to log in by using their Facebook credentials. Your Facebook identity is one example of a social identity. A social identity is the identity that an internet user establishes in online communities such as Facebook that allow users to develop an internet persona. But why would you trust that people are who they say they are simply because they have social identities? It's a bit like being introduced by a mutual friend. When your mutual friend introduces you to an unknown person, you trust that the unknown person's identity is authentic. Likewise, when you enable a user to log in by using a social identity, you trust that the online community is correctly identifying that person. Of course, if you are protecting sensitive data, you need to provide a more secure method of authenticating users. However, for many mobile apps, you simply want to track the users who are accessing the application. Providing social identity login is a convenient way to implement authentication for low-risk applications. When you use Oracle Access Management Mobile and Social, also known as OAMMS for authentication, you can configure Mobile and Social to serve as a relying party when interacting with popular cloud-based identity authentication services such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google, and Yahoo. MAF is tightly integrated with OAMMS so that you can easily configure security in your MAF applications and enable users to authenticate by using their credentials from a trusted social identity provider. In this scenario, when the user logs in, Access Manager forwards the user's login request to Mobile and Social, which completes the authentication process with the identity provider in the background. Mobile and Social, the relying party, redirects the user to Access Manager. At the same time, Mobile and Social provides Access Manager with the user's authentication status and user attributes, which were sent by the identity provider, and the authenticated user is allowed to access the protected resource. Before you can set up your MAF application to use OAMMS, you should work with your OAM administrator to ensure that OAMMS is configured to serve as a relying party when interacting with internet-based identity authentication services. For more information about configuring OAMMS, watch the YouTube video called Using Oracle Mobile and Social Access Service Authentication from Oracle MAF. You can access the video through the bit.ly link shown here. When you meet with your OAM administrator, ensure that the following requirements are met. Internet Identity Authentication must be selected as the authentication scheme for the service domain. This is a setting that enables Mobile and Social to serve as a relying party, the RP, when interacting with identity providers like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google, and Yahoo. The domain must contain an Internet Identity Application Profile that includes user attribute mappings for each identity provider, such as Facebook or LinkedIn, that will be made available to the end users. 
The mapping specify the user attributes that you want the social identity provider to return to the application. For a math application, you might return attributes such as the user's email address, language, time zone, first name, and last name. The appropriate internet identity provider definitions have been edited for production use. Typically, this involves opening a developer account with a provider in order to obtain a consumer key and consumer secret that will then be added to the provider definition. After OAMMS is all set up and ready to go on the server, you simply need to configure the MAF application to use a mobile social authentication type, and users can log in by using their social identities. Now let's see a demo that shows you how to enable security and configure a MAF application to use OAMMS as a relying party when interacting with internet-based identity authentication services. In this demo, I'll add authentication to the Work Better application. This is the application that you saw running in the Android emulator. The demo walks you through the steps that are required to implement the security shown in the earlier demo. I've already configured OAMMS, so I won't cover the OAMMS setup steps in this demo. First, I locate the feature that I want to secure. The People feature appears when the user logs into the application, so let's secure that feature. I select the checkbox to enable security. Next, in the MAF application XML file, under the Security tab, I need to create a login server connection. First, I select Mobile Social for the authentication server type because I will use OAMMS as a relying party when interacting with internet-based authentication providers. Next, I select Hybrid for the connectivity mode because I want the application to authenticate with a remote server when available, but cache the credentials to use when the remote login server is unavailable. Then I give the connection a name. Next, I configure access to OAMMS. In the Mobile Social tab, I specify the URL for the OAMMS installation. In the OAMMS service domain field, I specify the OAMMS domain that was created for Internet Identity Authentication. For the OAMMS profile ID, I enter the name of the Internet Identity Application Profile. You might recall that this name matches the name that is used for the application profile associated with the service domain. Next, on the Auto Login tab, I select options that enable the user to stay logged into the application. Okay, that looks good. Now I can specify that my secured feature should be authenticated against this login server. One last thing that you need to remember. Because you are authenticating with a remote login server, you need to make sure that the feature is granted access to the network. So, in the MAF application XML file, click the Device Access tab and verify that the network permission is granted to the application. To test the mobile app, save it, and then deploy it. In this example, I deploy the app to the Android emulator. Okay, so that's all there is to it. As you saw in the demo at the beginning of this video, I can launch the app in the Android emulator. The OAMMS Social Identity Login page appears with a list of links for Internet Identity Providers, and I can log in by using my Facebook credentials. In this episode, we've seen how to configure a math application to authenticate with internet-based identity providers. We've seen live demos of a math application running in the Android emulator, and we've learned about the basic steps that are required to configure mobile and social. Keep watching this channel to learn more about Oracle Mobile Application Framework.